Her name was Louise Brown, and the year was 1978. The world's first test tube baby, she was considered a miracle child. Today, more than 8 million babies around the world have been born through IVF, and it's still considered one of the great triumphs of modern medicine. <coughs> Dr. John Reinhardt of Rush University Medicine was there from the beginning. He was part of the first IVF delivery at Brigham Young Hospital in 1983. Since then, he's helped more than 3,800 couples with successful pregnancy via IVF. I've seen a lot of changes over the years. A lot of positive changes over the years, as a matter of fact. And Danielle Stack is a beneficiary. With Dr. Reinhardt's help, she's now 12 weeks into her pregnancy. We did uh, three rounds of IVF, and the third round was successful. Danielle's IVF is very different from what couples had to go through 41 years ago. That's because more than a decade of major discoveries has dramatically changed the process. For example, egg freezing is no longer considered experimental. Doctors can more reliably select the best embryos for IVF. There are better fertility preserving surgeries for cancer patients. One of the biggest inroads, men who never thought they would be able to father a child now can, and the actual egg retrieval procedure is less demanding. We used to do major surgery for the retrievals. Now it's a 10-minute procedure, literally 10-minute procedure done under IV sedation. And when it comes to success rates, it used to be 5%. Not anymore. If you have a tested embryo in the right patient today, you should have a 50-60% pregnancy rate per transfer. Danielle calls herself one of the lucky ones, and she's looking forward to her new arrival. But she and Dr. Reinhardt want couples to know, though it's worth it, IVF is not easy. It's also shots that are also hormones that make your body think that you are pregnant, but you are not pregnant. So there is an emotional toll going through it too. It's worth the price that people pay, but there is a price. And speaking of price, it is not cheap, but fortunately, Illinois is one of a few states that does cover some of these procedures. Dr. Reinhardt says the next step with infertility is working with AI, and he says that's opening up a whole new world that could make even bigger changes over the next decade. Sylvia Perez, Fox 32, Chicago.